Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a get ready with me. So we're just going to start off with the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30 and just apply that all over the face. Next we're going in with the Nivea Men Pulse Shave Balm, the sensitive one, and we're going to let that kind of get tacky and then pat it all into the skin as a primer for foundation. For foundation today, we are going to be mixing these two, the Maybelline Fit Me in 128 and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in number 5. And just applying that on the back of my hand. Then I'm taking this like little dome brush and mixing both of them and just going to apply that all over the face. I do like mixing these two shades just because the Maybelline Fit Me is a little too dark for me right now. So I mix in the Giorgio Armani because it's a little too light for me and it gives me pretty much the perfect shade. I also really like the fact that this doesn't dry down too fast, so it gives me time to apply it to the entire face. Next, taking the Equal Tools sponge and just patting that all over the face to blend out all the foundation. And then definitely getting the neck so you are not two different shades from your face versus your body. I did want a little bit more coverage, so I went ahead and I put more of the Maybelline Fit Me just all over the face. Next for concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. And just applying that to the usual area. So under the eye, a little bit closer to the nose. I also put some on my forehead, the bridge of the nose, and also on my chin. So I'm taking the other side of that Equal Tool sponge and just patting that concealer in with that side. So next I'll be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and this Real Techniques, I think this is a contour brush, I'm not too sure. And I'm just going to apply that to the under eyes, the eyelids, my smile lines, and a little bit on my forehead. Whatever I do have left, I just apply it to the rest of the face. Going in with that MAC bronzer, I don't remember the name because I took it out of its packaging, but I'm taking that in a pretty fluffy powder brush and just applying that to the cheekbones, the forehead, and I do apply some um, a little bit down my neck just to blend out everything. Moving on to the eyes, I am going to take that cream color in the Naked 3 palette and just apply that to the eyelids to prep for the other colors that I'll be using today. So I'm going in with the Too Faced in Vegas Nay Stardust palette and I am taking that orange shade. That shade is called Millennial. So I'm taking that in a Morphe brush and I'm going to be applying that to the crease for a transition shade. I will have all the brushes listed in the bottom bar. Next, I'm going in with the Morphe Bronze Mocha Palette and taking that like bronzy gold shade and a small shader brush and just applying that to the eyelids. So I'm taking the Amrizi and Anastasia Beverly Hills Collab Palette and just taking that shade Legend and applying that to the eyelids just to brighten them up just a little bit. So next I'm taking that more reddish shade called Girls Night in the um, Stardust palette and just applying that 
to mostly like the outer corners, but I am dragging that in a little bit further into the crease. So it was slightly too red for me, so I went in with that more caramel shade in the Morphe Bronze Mocha palette and just kind of blended that in so we get like a more brownish tone. Next for brows, I am taking the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. And I'm just going to line the bottom and the top of the brow. And then kind of fill them in just a little bit so they don't look so empty. I will be going in with a different product to fill in the rest of the brow, which is one of my Holy Grail products. Now I use this every single day. And then I'm just going to go ahead and brush them out with the spoolie on the other side. Taking that NYX um, Brow Mascara in Chocolate, I always fill in my brows with this now. I don't use anything else during the week. If I do want a fuller brow, I do use powder, but this has been my go-to for months now. Then I'm just cleaning up with a little bit of extra foundation that I had on the other brush. Um, I didn't want to highlight around my brows too much, so I used foundation instead of concealer. Take that tiny, tiny shader brush and I just apply it around the brow just to give it a little bit more shape. Next, I'm taking the vanilla shade in that Anastasia Amrizi palette and just applying that to the brow bone with an e.l.f. brush. Again, I will list everything down in the bottom bar if you're interested. So next I'm just going to curl my lashes and um, we're not using falsies today. I'm just going to use my regular L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. And I freaking live by this mascara. I use this every single day. This mascara definitely gives my lashes a lot of length and a lot of volume. So then I'm just taking that caramel shade and applying that with a fluffier brush on the lower lash line to give it a little bit of color. So what I do is I take a another telescopic mascara that's kind of running out. And I use that to do the bottom lash line and also to separate the lashes um, on top. And then I take like this little lash comb separator thing if I need to. The mascara usually doesn't clump on me or anything, but if it does, I take that little brush thing and I just separate them. So with the spoolie, I'm just taking off any dry mascara that I have. Next, I'll be taking the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Perfect Espresso and just applying a little bit of that to my waterline. For blush, I'm taking Melba by MAC and a Real Techniques blush brush and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrizi Collab Highlight and I'm taking a Morphe fan brush and just applying that to the cheekbones, the temples, my nose. I do it on the button of my nose and then a little bit in between the eyes. And then the cupid's bow and I'm taking that elf brush that I used earlier and applying a little bit of highlight in my inner corners. For the lips, I'll be using the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig. This is a perfect nude for me. It gives me just the right tones of like pink and a little bit of brown and I freaking love it. I usually don't use lip liner with this liquid lipstick either. Taking down the bobby pins for my hair and I'm drowning myself in the Mario Badescu Rose Water. 
along with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and just applying that all over the face. Definitely letting that dry. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want more get readies with me. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.